What's up, YouTube? Good morning, and God bless you guys. So the other day, I posted a poem called Footprints, and I know most of you guys have read the poem at some point in life, but if you haven't read it, I'm going to give you a brief uh, summary of what the poem is all about. So in the poem, it's talking about uh, this guy he dies, goes to heaven, and uh, when he's looking at his life, he's seeing two footprints in the in the sand which represents him and God and his journey with God right and as he's looking at it he notices as there's only one set of footprints as he's going through like the hardest times in his life and he asked God he says man why when I was at my lowest when I was going through all this bullshit did you leave me why was I by myself and God tells him, he says, you weren't by yourself. That was the time that I was carrying you. And that's the general gist of the poem, right? Um, I think that poem is so perfect in representing, you know, our journey with God, our, our journey with Christianity for so many people. Um, and just journeys in life. I know a lot of times we feel like we're doing things on our own. You know, you're working extra hours, you're struggling, you're, you know, you're going through so many different things, dealing with addiction, uh, getting out of prison and trying to move forward in life or, you know, so many, so many battles that we have in life. A lot of times we feel like we're doing it on our own. And I think that this poem gives us such a clear picture to look at, right? It gives us a clear picture to look at and say, damn, if I put my faith in God, God's going to get me through these hard times. He's going to carry me through these hard times. And I truly believe that this is exactly what we need to share. We need to, um, we need to, let other people know that that's what a relationship with God is all about. It's, it's, you know, letting go of ourselves and letting God take control. You know, you've heard the old saying, like, let Jesus take the wheel, right? Um, that's what it's all about. That's what Christianity is all about. It's, it's letting go of your, uh, your ego, you know, all this bullshit that we were taught and just saying, whatever happens, happens. God has a plan. And I want to be a part of that plan, no matter what the plan is, you know. So, like, when you pray, never pray and say, God, man, I hope I, God, I pray that I win the lottery. Because maybe that's not meant for you. God, I hope I get this new position. Maybe that position isn't for you. God, I hope my business thrives and I make millions. Maybe that's not for you. Or if you're in jail and you're like, God, please let me get found not guilty when I go to trial. If I, Man, if I go to trial and I get found not guilty, I'm going to go home and be such a good person. Man, if you've been at a county jail, you've heard that countless times. Man, I've been praying that I get found not guilty. Just pray that God gives you what he knows you need. You know what I'm saying? And as far as what you need, he's going to give it to you. If he puts you in a rough position, he's going to carry you through that. But you have to have faith in him. That's, that's the main part is we have to have faith in God. You know, um... I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I hope everybody's enjoying life. I hope everybody had a uh, an amazing 4th of July weekend. Um, God bless you guys and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.